All right, you're here because you want to learn the vocabulary for shine, Jesus, shine. All right, I confess, this is one of my favorite songs. I really like this song. Now, on paper, this song looks a little longer than the other two songs, okay? And that's because it has a chorus in it. So you have to learn the chorus once and you sing it twice. So learning this song is, is par with the other two songs, okay? Don't get discouraged by the fact that it, this one's on two pages and the other one's only on one. It's on two pages because it has this chorus section, all right? That said, um, pick whichever song you want to do. But if you're here, you're probably here because you want to do Shine, Jesus, Shine. Okay? And so here what we're going to do is we're going to go through the vocabulary for Shine, Jesus, Shine. Now we're going to do this in individual words. And if you've heard me say this before on these tapes, you're going to hear it again and again and again because I think it's truly important. We're gonna, I'm going to show you the signs for the words, all right? But the words aren't what you're going to sign. You're going to sign the sentences. And really easy to, to explain why. Because we don't speak in words. We speak in sentences. And the deaf speak in sentences as well. So as you're going through this, yes, we're going to be showing you the individual signs for the individual words just like I would teach you you know if I wanted to teach you what ubiquitous meant that's an individual word which means it's everywhere okay but you would never just say ubiquitous it's part of the sentence okay here we go so shine Jesus shine Lord it's the letter L and it starts on the opposite shoulder from your elbow. And then it ends at your hip or somewhere close thereby. Okay? There's no actual spot here. Lord. Okay? And just because I'm teaching you sign language, not just the song, this is an interesting sign. L for Lord. If you put an M on it, it's a master. Put a K on it, and it's a king. You put a Q on it, what do you think it'll be? Queen. One that's kind of uh, a little ambiguous is a P, because it could be a prince or a princess. Your context would tell you. Um, what else is there? If you're signing and you want to tie sign Nebuchadnezzar, you don't want to figure spell that whole nasty word. <laughs> N would be Nebuchadnezzar. D for David. Okay. So it's a useful sign. You're going to see that in a number of songs that you will sing if you choose to sign with songs. So, that's a lot of talking for just one word. Lord, the light of your love is shining. Okay? The light. The. In English we have these little bitty connection words. Nuisance words, really. The. It, lead, it does nothing for this. And the deaf will take the word the and they don't use it. It's not really part of the vocabulary. Don't need the word the. And we're going to find that as we go through this that there are a number of words that are connective. That really serve the purpose to join this to this. And in sign language we just drop it out of the middle and we join them in the sign. Okay? So, Lord, the light, okay, and it's kind of a, and there's different ways of doing light, okay, uh, there's shining, and there's turn on the headlights, and there's turn on the lights if you like in the house, uh, this is a light that's growing and becoming big and is awesome, okay, light. And see, I got the little shake in there. Okay, signing is more than just light. You know, get light. Don't be afraid to bend your knees and get underneath it and push the light up. Light. All right. Of your love is shining. Your love. So, Lord, 
the light of your love is shining. Okay? Your. Pronouns. Pronouns are the easiest sign to, to do ever. Okay? You've been doing pronouns in sign language since you couldn't talk. You. Me. I. Her. Him. It. Okay? All of those pronouns is just a finger pointing in that direction. Okay? If you put an open palm instead of a finger, you same thing. Yours. Mine. His. It's. Hers. It shows ownership. Okay? So, you or yours. Me or mine. Your, in this case, the your is not you. The your, who are we singing this to? Am I singing this to you? Are you singing this to me? No, we're singing this to Jesus. And so a lot of our signs in this song will probably wind up pointing up here somewhere. Okay? Your love, it's like you're holding your best friend's tape or your best friend, your teddy bear, okay, is shining, is, the letter I, coming off the chin, is shining, same as light, and we're going to use, we're going to use that song a lot in this song, in the midst of the darkness, in, make a little cup, in, try to put your fingers together, and it fits, right? In the midst. You don't need the word the. Midst. 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 What is mid? Middle. Mid. There it is. You got a, a flat surface here, and right there is the center, right? So you take your hand, you go a circle, and down. Just like a dog does. Walks around a circle, and then comes down in, in the middle. Okay? In the midst. Of, you can leave out the word of, uh, you can put the word of in there, it doesn't make any difference. If you can put the word of in, it's O-F, you're just spelling it, of the darkness. The, don't need the, darkness. Just like this is bright, the opposite is dark. Kind of makes sense, right? Shining. Alright, and here it's kind of almost explosive. In the midst of the darkness shining, okay, Jesus, light, I told you we're going to use this sign a lot, of the world, you can leave out of the, of the world, and it's W's. Start with the left hand on the bottom, right hand on top, and you just kind of circle, and you wind up where you started from, world, okay. Light of the world, shine upon us. Okay? Or you can do shine upon us. Either way. This would probably be better. Shine. Where the light's shining on you and you just want it all over you. Boom! That feels good. Alright? Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Us. Okay, now this is me, that's you. Okay? We and us is not just me, it's me and you. Alright, so it's both sides. You do it twice. Me, actually, we and us are like that. Twice. Shine upon us. Uh, set us free by the truth you now bring us. Make, okay, the word set really is defined by the context in which it's used. So, Set us free. Make us free. Okay? The deaf would probably just sign that free us. Okay? But it kind of messes with the song here. So I'm just going to say that we're going to sign it as make us free. Okay? Free is to, or let's do make first. Make. I think you have a pencil here in the, in the middle going through here to here, right? 
and you're trying to twist it and break it. Okay? It's kind of that motion. Make us free. Okay? Free is the letter F. You kind of cross your arms and then come out. Free. And just like the word Lord, you put different letters in the beginning of that, and it has different meanings. Free. Liberate. L's. S. What do you think S is going to be? It's going to be save. Okay? Set us free by, excuse me, I yet to have a year where I don't sneeze in one of these videos. All right. Uh, I lost my place. Where am I? Okay. Free um, by B-Y or with. There's another way of signing that. With the truth you now bring us. The truth is a letter. It's, it's, a, it's not a letter. It's the finger at your chin is coming out. Truth you now. Okay. It's a Y hand. Start Y hand here and just kind of drop it. Now. Okay. And since I'm going to be up here anyway, you know, you now. So I'm going to be up here going you. My eyes are going to follow where I'm pointing. Okay. It wouldn't make any sense to say you. That doesn't even make sense in English. All right. You look at what you're talking to and you're pointing at. You now bring us. Okay. All of those signs are going to be right up in here. You now bring. You're going to carry it from there. Clip on. Carry it down to here. To us. Okay? That's the first verse. Okay? Now we have the chorus. So let's learn the chorus really, really well because you're going to get to do it twice. All right? And it's really pretty simple. Shine, or shine on me, or shine, yeah, I like that better. Shine on me, shine on me, shine. Okay? All of those are, we've already covered, shine and on and me. And shine, Jesus. And it's an obvious sign. Your center finger here pointing to the nail prints. If that's difficult, I, you can do it with your index finger as well. But I think the right way to do it is the, is the center finger. Okay? Shine, cheese, shine. Fill. You pull your hand towards yourself. You know, like you, you have a cup that's got some sugar in it and it's full and you just got leveling off the top. Fill. So the cup is absolutely full. Alright? Fill this. Two ways of doing this. Okay? This one. This. This right here. Or this one. You can point to it if you have the object right there in front of you. But this, what is the, this going to be referring to? Let's peek ahead a little bit. It's the land. So, it's going to be this land. Alright, let me show you how to do land. It is a dirty area. Which makes sense because land is made out of dirt. My mom would have used this for my room. Alright, so it's kind of rub your fingers. It's kind of like you know, you go out and you get, uh, you're working in the dirt and you get some dust in your fingers and you kind of do like this to get the, the, the gunky off the end of your fingers. Okay. There is no sign for gunky, by the way. Dirty area, land. Okay. Um, with the Father's glory. 
So we're going to fill this land with the Father's glory. All right, let's do that slower. The, don't need it, Father's. This is time for Mom. This is time for Dad. Mother, Father. Grandmother, Grandfather. Grandmother, Grandfather. Okay? Those are nice signs to know. But when you're talking about God the Father, it is almost always, you're almost always looking up and you have the, what I call an exploding grandfather. Father. Alright? It's almost like you're throwing it. Father. Alright? And we talked about pronouns with the uh, palm showing your ownership. When you see that little apostrophe S at the end of Father, that says Father's, in other words, His ownership. Okay, so the Father, His glory is the way the death would sign that. Glory. Kind of a little bitty single golf clap and shimmering. Kind of like if you were on a perfectly calm lake and a leaf kind of crops in the middle and the sunlight goes out on the edge of the lake. Kind of picture I have there. Glorious. Okay. Blaze. Fire. Fire. And fire has a little thing that kind of at the, at the top. That's why the fingers move as they come up. Fire. So blaze. Spirit blaze. Spirit. Same sign as ghost, same sign as soul. Uh, and what it is, the two F hands. And if it were soul, it'd be like you were so in. I know it, making a sound like for remembering of a sign doesn't make sense. But that's what I'm doing. So, but soul or spirit. Okay? It's that same motion like you're sewing. So blaze, spirit, blaze. Set, make our hearts on fire. Alright, now let's see what, watch what I did there. Just like I used make for the word set before, I'm going to use it again. Make our, okay, I said this was us, and this was we at the finger, right? That's one, so if I do an open palm to do this, that becomes our ownership, okay? That's why it's an open palm. Uh, our uh, hearts on fire, hearts, just kind of make a little circle and touch. A little circle in the air and touch where your heart is, okay? Heart on fire, I'm going to leave out the word on, it's a connector, I don't need it, but this is a sign for fire. For my heart to be on fire, it's going to be up here. It's going to be a lot closer. My heart's going to be on fire. And I get that warm rush. Okay? Flow, river flow. Okay? Flow. Anytime you see a sign like this, it's almost always going to have something to do with water. In some way, way fashion, or form. Okay? R for river. Nothing for flowing or a stream or a fountain. Um, you can do O for ocean, S for sea. You're just, you know, big area of water. Here we're doing flow. River. Flow. Okay. Now I'm not going to, I'm going to make that all one sign as I do this. So I'm going to say flow river flow. Now did you see my R's come in the middle there? Okay, let's do that again. Flow river flow. Now you have to practice that otherwise you might be at river and you run out of arm before you get to the flow. So don't run out of arm. Practice that one. Flow river flow. Flood this is that same water sign. 
only this time it's going up. The nations, it said letter N, circling, hovering over the world and landing. Now, okay, that's where I'm going to build my nation. The nation with, and just coming together, is the sign for with. So this hand is with this hand. Grace and mercy. Grace and mercy. Grace. Circle, splat. Um, and that's how I remember it. Circle, splat. Uh, a better picture would be you know, Paul, or actually Saul, walking down the road to Damascus. And as he gets there, you know, he's struck by the light. Uh, that's kind of the picture I think they're trying to, to get with that one. But anyway, circle, splat works for me. Grace and mercy. And palm pointing off to the, to the, to the left, coming into a all fingers together position on this side. In a motion. Mm. Okay, like you're trying to shape a cone. And mercy. Center finger out. Mercy. Uh, that center finger is often an emotion. It is, um, oh, you know, I can be excited, uh, uh, mercy, it's also pity, um, any one of those signs, all right? And the music you're hearing in the background is not somebody watching this bone that my phone going off. I'll have to call them back. We just put that on silent. Should have done that. Anyway, enough of that. All right. Flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. Send forth. It's like, you got him here, like give him a little push, and off he goes. Send forth your word. Okay, those are neither one new signs, I don't think. Word. Word may be new. Words are little things. You put them like a little flag on your finger there. That's a word. Your word, Lord, and let there be light. And I want you to sign this as if you were God in Genesis. Let there be light. And there was light. All right? So, this is a command. Let there be light. And the light is everywhere. So it's big. All right? So your signs are big. Let. His L's is kind of coming up. I want to say it's like quick shooting, but if you throw out your hip like that, then you're going to lose points. <laughs> It's just let, let there, as in there, everywhere, be light. Be is coming off the chin. Be. Okay? All right. And that's the chorus. Practice it. Because you're this. It, it's an exciting chorus. And, you know, if you sign this song and, you know, Lord, the light of your love is shining in the midst of the dark. Is shining. Those signs are right, but you're not interpreting the song. Okay? Get your whole body. If you feel like you're hamming it up a little bit, you're probably doing it right. Okay? You know? So get that light out there. Let there be light. All right, Lord, we know that one already. Uh -huh. We know that one already. Come. It's like a wheel. It rolls towards you or it rolls away from you. This is coming. This is going. Okay, come. To Lord, I come. And we're going to do this a little bit different, all right? Where is the Lord? I know he's everywhere. But we're going to put him on the throne right up here. And so I'm going to say, Lord, I come. And my eyes are going to follow my signs. Come 
to your awesome presence. All right? Now, I'm going to do this in front of you so you can see me a little bit better. Lord, I come to your awesome presence. So we did come to your most of the time we leave out the word to. And we could probably leave it out here if you wanted to. Okay? But I come to your open palm. Awesome. Awesome. It's like your eyes are like, wow, amazing. It's the same time as amazing. Okay? And if somebody walks into your house and gives you a brand new car and hands you the title, you don't go, amazing. You go, oh, amazing. You bend your knees and you get into it. All right? You bend your knees and get into it. Awesome presence. This is him. This is you. He's here. You're here. You're face to face is what the picture is looking like. Okay. From the shadows into your radiance. So let's read the whole thing so we get some context here. Lord, I come into your awesome presence. Where do I come from? I come from the shadows into your radiance. Lord, I come to your awesome presence. From the shadows into your radiance. Okay? Notice that I separated the light and the dark. The light was up high and the dark was down low. Okay? And shadows is just S and you just kind of make a figure with a shadow. Okay? So I'm going to come from it's like pulling the string on the back of Woody's neck, uh, if you ever watch Toy Story, from. So I'm going to come from the shadows. All right? My back is on him. That, that's on purpose. I'm going to come from the shadows into, I'm going to twist and come up your radiance. See how that kind of Flows. I've actually moved myself from the shadows to the radiance. I hope that's not too much for you. Try it. I think it's, I think you can make it work. And radiance, light. That's that sign we promised to abuse. By the blood, I may enter your brightness. Okay. By your blood, okay, by your blood, I may enter your brightness. By, this fellow word by, or with, or because of your blood, I may, this is time for yes, this is time for can or may, I can enter, and we did that just a second ago, and I didn't clear it up very, very well. The sign for enter is enter. It's up high, it's up in this area, enter. If it's down low, you do it here, it's giving birth. Probably not what you wanted to do. Okay, up here, enter. And the way we did shadows, we did shadows, and then we did enter your presence. See how, see, did you see that sign enter as it went up? And here we can enter your brightness because of the blood. Blood. Just kind of put your hand here and kind of trickle down. Like if you cut yourself on your thumb, the blood would be trickling all over your hand. All right. By the blood I may enter your brightness Search me. Search. Uh, Sherlock Holmes uses what? To search for things. 
a magnifying glass, right? Well, that's kind of what that is. Search me. Try me. Try me, try me, try me. I don't want you to try me on. I don't want you to... What does the word try there mean? It means give me a test. So, question marks in the air, and then freak out. All right? Test is the sign. And it's what it is. Question... Ah! Poor context for the song, but that's kind of where it comes from. Test uh, me. Consume. Start with your little finger. And go through all the other fingers. Like, disappear. Consume. Gone. All my darkness. Okay? Consume all. All. Take a hand, put a hat on it, circle the hat around, and land this way. You really kind of twiddle them. But it's hard to describe twiddling. Then I start with a roof, I come around all. All my darkness. I've already done that one before. And that's it. We're done. We got the the chorus again. So that's the whole song. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go through the song, get to where you know the signs. Come, go to it until you're comfortable doing the signs. And then I want you to have the songbook or the paper or something open in front of you. And I want you to look at it in sentences and go, Lord, the light of your love is shining, is what it says right there. Lord, the light of your love is shining. You can remember that long enough. Close your eyes and go, Lord, the light of your love is shining. Okay? Do that with each one of the sentences. So you're not doing this in words. And it'll also help you smooth things out, and it'll help you to remember the song. And when you go to the next part where we go through the song really, really slowly, you'll be able to do that without a lot of difficulty. So practice this, get good at it, and I'm looking forward to seeing you there at LTC. Good luck.